Welcome guys. Welcome to the part second of IR controlled Arduino robot car. In the previous video, we made the IR car, but it was not complete yet. Before completing that, let's make an infrared remote for it. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how I made my IR remote for my infrared car. So let's make it. Firstly, we will design the remote on a breadboard. Then we design a PCB for it. Order that from jlcpcb.com, which is also the sponsor of this video. Then we will shoulder our parts on the remote and check whether it's working or not. So let's get started. So this is the IR remote design. It's very simple. Just see here we have Arduino Nano and four push buttons. What I did is connected the positive and ground of Arduino to this line. Here five volt is given to the one point of five volts is given to the one point of each push button and other is connected with a 10k register and the signal is connected with particular pins starting from d2 to d5 this is the basic design and here we connected an ir led with a 220 ohm resistance connected to pin number three so this is the basic board design okay guys so this is the design for the ir remote uh, basically you can understand uh, our IR remote will consist of two parts one is upper layer and other is lower layer will be stacked on one over the other upper layer will consist of a LED and four five push buttons and the lower layer will consist of our Arduino resistances and IR LED so you can basically understand this is our Arduino Nano here we will attach our IR LED uh, here is the resistance for IR LED. This is left for the LED on the upper side so that here two wires could be attached and this will be attached to the upper layer. Uh, so these are the 10k registers, 5 register for 5 push buttons. All, uh, one side of registers goes to negative terminal as you can see. And the four signal wires attached respectively to D2, D3, D4, D5, and D6. And the LED attached to D13. And our IR LED is attached to ground from one side and D9 from other side. So this is the basic design of part one or the lower part. I dropped four holes on each side of PCB so that it could be mounted by the other using screws. So let's move to the second part. This is the upper layer. I attached five push buttons, one LED and here the wires from the lower part will be shouldered and it will be attached with the lower part. So I think you have understood the basic design of the IR remote. Let's order it from jlcpcb.com. Go to jlcpcb.com, go to order page, upload your files, check your dimensions and thickness of PCB along with your color and other related features and check out securely. If you are a new user, sign up and if you are already a user, just log in into your account and pay. So I got my PCBs from jlcpcb.com. Let's check. This is our lower part as we designed. Here is the space for resistance. We will connect wires from here to the upper layer. Here we will connect an LED. Here is the resistance for LED and the and this one is for Arduino. Here is written IR remote rubber circuits. If you see from the back side, we can see the connections clearly. PCB quality is defined by its connections and each connection are quite clear 
and our shouldering portions were just shining so this means the PCB is perfect let's check another uh, this one is the upper part here we will insert our push buttons here we will insert our LED and here we will insert our wires from the lower layer after completing they both will be stacked like this using four screws on each side and our remote will look like this so without wasting time let's make it so I am having my five push buttons let us insert them okay our push buttons are ready to shoulder soldering is a quite easy task just put your iron to the one side and apply a bit solder to the other side that's done now to the other pin Our push buttons are soldered. Let's set a blue LED on the top in the place pro space provided. So the upper PCB for the remote is ready. All things are soldered. So let's take the lower board connect female headers on it for arduino and ir led and 10k resistance on it let's do it okay guys so our remote is ready almost ready just we need to add screws so that it could it could be stacked like this so i connected all the wires of the five buttons to the lower plate and the LED for the same I, I installed the IR LED in here female header pins and mounted Arduino on it there were some mistakes while designing so I added an extra wire for the same to correct that mistake and that resistance you can see that was not a big mistake so let's test the remote whether it is working or not I I attached a battery connector with it also ok so you can see our Arduino starts let's see whether it is working or not we can see the IR LED is working let me turn off the flash so that you can see so means our remote is working fine okay guys this was the end of the second part see you in the third part